In 1655 the English mathematician John Wallace published a book in which he derived a formula for pi as the product of an infinite series of ratios. Now researchers from the University of Rochester, in a surprise discovery, have found the same formula in quantum mechanical calculations of the energy levels of a hydrogen atom. In quantum mechanics, a technique called the variational approach can be used to approximate the energy states of quantum systems, like molecules, that can't be solved exactly. Hagen was teaching the technique to his students when he decided to apply it to a real-world object, the hydrogen atom. The hydrogen atom is actually one of the rare quantum mechanical systems whose energy levels can be solved exactly, but by applying the variational approach and then comparing the result to the exact solution, students could calculate the error in the approximation. When Hagen started solving the problem himself, he immediately noticed a trend. The error of the variational approach was about 15% for the ground state of hydrogen, 10% for the first excited state, and kept getting smaller as the excited states grew larger. This was unusual, since the variational approach normally only gives good approximations for the lowest energy levels. Hagen recruited Friedman to take a look at what would happen with increasing energy. They found that the limit of the variational solution approaches the model of hydrogen developed by physicist Niels Bohr in the early 20th century, which depicts the orbits of the electron as perfectly circular. This would be expected from Bohr's correspondence principle, which states that for large radius orbits, the behavior of quantum systems can be described by classical physics. From the formula for the limit of the variational solution as the energy increased, Hagen and Friedman were able to pull out the Wallace formula for pi. The theory of quantum mechanics dates back to the early 20th century and the Wallace formula has been around for hundreds of years, but the connection between the two had remained hidden until now.